We've talked about matrix addition, subtraction, and multiplication. The natural remaining question is, what about matrix division? Can we divide one matrix by another? The short answer to that question is no. The long answer is no, but sort of yes, some of the time. The key observation behind this waffling is that you can think of division as multiplication. So if you have two divided by three, you could think of that as the number two multiplied by the number one third. In general, if you have A divided by B, you can think of that as A times one divided by B, where one divided by B is the multiplicative inverse of B. For matrices, we don't have division, but we do have multiplicative inverses at least some of the time. How can we define the multiplicative inverse of B? We could say that this is the unique number such that B times that number equals one. Think back to when I talked about the properties of matrix multiplication. I said that there was a matrix that acts like the number one, that being the identity matrix I. If we have a matrix that acts like one, we can mimic this definition of a multiplicative inverse. Definition, if A is a square matrix, then A inverse is the unique matrix A, such that A times A inverse equals the identity, and A inverse times A equals the identity. Remember, multiplication isn't commutative. So that's why we have these two different statements. Now, not every square matrix has an inverse. In a sense, that's not surprising. 
Not every real number has a multiplicative inverse. The real number is zero, doesn't it? With matrices, it's not just the zero matrix, though. There are a lot of matrices that don't have multiplicative inverses. We'll talk about that in our next video.